It's all for love. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining in uh, today. I have another channeling here that I um, jotted down and I do a little reading on that. So if you don't know what I do, I do channeled writings. And uh, when I get the downloads, um, I just start writing and it just comes out. Um, and so I'm just going to read this clip here. Uh, it says, uh, you can never turn back time, but you can go back in time. For what is written is written and can never be unwritten so whatever has been done by choice is and it, that can never be undone right so that's recorded in the records of who we are and, and how we are in evolution right so it can never be unwritten only rewritten so that means we can go back in time to rewrite it, which is a script. We change energy and vibration that changes the present moments, as whereas if we didn't change it, it would be a different outcome. And that would be the script that was from that evolution from the present moment that we created it. So every time we have a choice in the moment, we're creating. And so from that, we have an outcome and a lot of people like to call it karma, but there really is no karma as we per se believe or think it is or wish upon other people, which is then creating our own karma uh, to have by creating or wishing that upon somebody else that they suffer. So um, kind of want to stay away from that. But we can go back. We can't go back and change it as it is but we can go back and change how it is written which is two different things right you say well if you're going back in time you're going back in time but no it's it's two different things because what's been it's going to be rewritten like you're doing software right you're rewriting it from a different perspective and changing it and we can do that from a couple of different different ways we can do it either intentionally uh, in the present moment of our awareness or we can do that as an evolution process where we pass over and we go and we do our life review and then we come back and um, do it from a new version of ourselves right and that's going to talk about a little bit of this here um, as it's going on uh, with the readings there's a little bug over there <laughs> I'm outside enjoying the the, the nature uh, while I'm channeling and writing um, but um, and so then it goes on to say um, never you can it can never be unwritten so once it's written it's written it can only be rewritten so we can go back and change that which is from the present moment and that's part of the healing um, process that i've done in my own life um, so if you have something that's reoccurring in the present moment <laughs> <clears throat> which is from a point of time that was created before which is now the evolution of it in this present moment and showing up in my, my world. Um, because of what I've made the choices at that moment in time has evolved to now. And so when I see these things that are evolving, um, that I, I'm no longer wanting or I don't resonate with, I want to change it. So I tune into what's going on here and I look at it as a picture, kind of like the screen, um, if you will, of what's being presented to me. And this is what we do on a pass, uh, like when we pass over and we do the life review, we look at the screen of life, right? And we get to choose uh, what we're gonna work on and change and manipulate and, and transform. So again, there's really no karma. It's just a manipulation of energies by different ways of experiencing it and doing it. Um, we can do it through the, the process of evolution or intentional, right? So. <clears throat> looking at the screen of life, what are the things in my life that I don't want right now that's showing up, which are the seeds of the past that I've planted that no longer resonates with me because I've evolved from then to now. And so I can change that. And so to change that, I'm going to be in the present moments of what the experience is and then follow the chain of evolution back to that moment and go into the energy like a memory because everything is written. So you have the records of everything 
uh, from the existence of all the way back to the beginning of time. So we can go back to the beginning of time, um, the timeline of the, the soul and the evolution of it to this point by intentionally manipulating the energies and going back. So we go back to the seed of that moment within ourselves. We turn in, we turn our third eye back within ourselves and we go <laughs> through it energetically. We don't physically go back in time. We can't do that. It's not like back to the future. Um, and it's our, our energy and intention. We can follow that stream back to that seed that was planted. We can go back into that memory, open it back up like a file, take it out of the cabinet, look at it, read it, and see what's happening in there. And then we can change it. How do we want to change that to manipulate the time and energy of it so we can change the frame of reference that's now in our moment that's happening, right? And so if we look at that timeline, this timeline, we can change that um, for an ever-ending choice that we've made because it's not really forever. It's changing, so we, it's never forever, right? It's only uh, temporary in place. And so we are in a different place where we can see it from a different perspective, if that makes sense. And so it's a perspective that we're having now because we've evolved through time that we can go back and change it by seeing the past, if that makes sense. And so from the past evolution of it and the experience when we're in that memory, looking at that uh, situation that created it, we can see from all those different ways that it has evolved from that um, initial seed that was planted. And then from that initial seed that was planted, we can change and manipulate the energies and vibrations of it. So at that point, you know, what is the situation that was created and why did you choose it and what was the evolution of it? How did it expand? How did you learn from it? How did you become here where you are now? that's going to change the outcome of it. And then you're going to be able to be on a different path, right? So you can change the evolution path of your, um, your perception and awareness because where you are now, but still in the, be in the same form, right? So um, <clears throat> working with this uh, healing modality is what I've used. And so I've learned about it through using this tool and, um, it's, it's very helpful to changing your timeline from where you were to where you are now, right? And so it gives you a big reference of what's happened um, through the journey of it by looking at it in evolution. Um, I've had a couple different life reviews. I had my near-death experience, um, which then I had a life review. And then coming back, it was removed from me because then, just like anything else, like when we're born, we don't remember, you know, why we're coming in we just have the experience to expand that awareness or to change it from where we were right which is the changing of the timelines and the expansion of awareness in our evolution um and then i had one after i came back from the death experience with the native american guy and i did a view on that and <clears throat> from that point i was able to see what he was showing me um, from their um, the life review in a out of body meditation that I did, and then <clears throat> learning this process of um, just doing it with them myself. So having the awareness and I and going through my master's degree has helped a lot with that to help me also bring in pieces of the puzzle. Um, and then those experiences that I've had there, which I've done videos on, and I'll do some more. But not to really digress too much more, you know, about getting to this uh, channeling that I did, but um, we can change the timeline. And so we can go, like I said, back in time through energy and vibration um, to change and manipulate that moment in time that we've created. And then it'll change the timeline of where we are to where we are now, which has totally changed you know doing this method has totally changed my life from what i was living to where i am now because what i was living was what i had started out with and it's like i have a whole different life now because i've changed the timeline utilizing this method in this process so it can be done we can rewrite um what it is that we've already chosen in that moment's upper evolution no matter what lifetime it's been, right? And we just have to go back to the seed 
which is true energy and vibration, right? And so we follow it back, kind of like following the trail. Okay, I see this now currently in my present moment, but how did I get here, right? So now I have to turn within myself to follow it back in time, evolution. Because again, everything is just like files. It's temporary. You can change and manipulate them. Um, but what's already been written, it can't be unwritten. It can only be rewritten, right? So we can change the timeline evolution, which changes the outcome, which is now. So following that back, uh, we can see what's happened. So it may be like inner child work. It may be um, something that's um, been from childhood. Um, it could be shadow work. It could be past life issues that are still invading our lives now in the present moment because it's affecting us, right? And so it's the occurrence of it from that we take from lifetime to lifetime. We have the reincarnations, right, of it in evolution that we're still trying to work on and work out. Um, I've had a couple of them that I've been made known of that were that are currently affecting this lifetime, which I've went back and worked on and dealt with. One was Native American, one was um, the fear of spiders. Um, <laughs> Then I had um, like abuse. I've had a lot of different things that I've had to go back and change and manipulate and change the outcome of it and how I would now in this moment in time, seeing it from a different perspective because I've evolved out of that space, I can now see it from a different place and now I can go back and tell my little inner child or my little inner self or whatever that was to see it from a different perspective. I can change my frame of reference from then to now right? Or from now to then, right? And change it. And so that helps change energy and vibration of it to what's now. And so you'll have a different outcome, right? By changing that in the present moments, but it's not really a present moment. You're in the present moment going back to time. So you're actually seeing it from there, but you're here in this space now, looking at it with a perception from where I am now to then. Um, and so you can change it and then allow yourself to change with the energy and vibration and flow and which change the outcome and then your life here as it is, you know, as a whole, right? And so the evolution of the self can be changed and manipulated by time and energy, right? But a lot of people aren't aware of that and know that. So um, it becomes a different outcome. Um, the other thing I've done through my uh counseling uh, journey and I did two years of counseling people with a lot of different things and which was a great practice for me because not only did I work in the the, um, the addiction center uh, for two years I had a lot of people came with different things right not just addictions but emotions um, different abuses different things like that on the emotional timeline perception, reality, experiences. And so um, I utilize a process, uh, which is the Hoponono, I can never pronounce it, um, healing modality. Um, and I use that while I was doing the, the sessions uh, with people. I would just turn within myself and see where it is because they're showing up in my reality. I use that as like my my window, my mirror, right? Even though it wasn't me, it was a reflection of me, which they were showing up in my reality uh, for me to not only see of myself, but of them to help change and manipulate that. So I was doing the counseling sessions with, with them, but I was also looking within myself um, throughout evolution of who I am and you know the experience of who I am as a whole, because not only is it my past lives, but it's the generation of my lives and my experiences through my parents and then their parents and then their parents right so it's the lineage right and so through this whole evolution you know doing the experience of healing um it's changed my path where i currently am in my life right and so it's the experiences that we're actually changing um how we're looking at it viewing it which is from a different perspective and we always see it from a rear view not per se in the present moment because present moment is of creating where we are and so it's from what's going on now that we're creating from and then the next moment is the next moment from where we're creating from and each no moment is where we're creating from we're creating on, on a constant continuum timeline of evolution in every second so every time we have a thought or a belief or something 
we're creating from that moment, creating an outcome of sorts, right? And that's the evolution of it. The more we put attention to it, which is the law of attraction, the more we create it, right? Which are the thoughts are evolving unto itself. So the more we get hung up on our thoughts and not keeping them separate from us, the more that we're creating things that we don't want versus things that we do, which is intentional thinking, um, our thoughts, right? And so it brings a whole different awareness and consciousness into our realm and our, our experience and our, our perception here.